Hey, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take you for a walk around some Lamar dump trailers. So shown here is two of our most common dumps. To the left we've got a Lamar DS 601017. 60 referring to 5 foot width, 10 to 10 foot length. 17 referring to the single axle, 7,000 pound axle. To the right would be a more common DS 601023 referring to two 3,500 pound axles. So we got two different configurations, both on the axle configuration, but then also on the options. Shown to the left would be the optional, yet very common charcoal powder coat with the black uh, wagon wheel. Shown to the right would be the black powder coat with the standard silver mod wheel. So I'm gonna take you for a walk around these two trailers, show you why we think uh, you'll find them to be an excellent value in this industry. So to give you an idea, our current market prices, and we're doing this February of 2018, this unit shown here, the way you see it, would be $4,095. Again, there are many dealers for the more around the country that would be at our location, either in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, or Irwin, Pennsylvania. So again, this is the five by eight single axle. You're gonna find most in the industry are gonna have a six lug wheel, which would be a 5,200 pound. This one does have the 7,000 pound axle. That alone is a pretty big difference between it and most everything else in the market. Again, nearly everything in the market is going to have a 5,200 pound axle. So we come up front, we used to put this adjustable coupler on, they've now made it standard. Something again you don't often see on a 5 wide. Not only is it adjustable, but it's a cast coupler, not a stamp coupler. Okay, the harness you see, uh, more of the industry is moving to sealed harnesses, although there's still quite a bit of single strand. This is not only sealed, but that blue indicates that it's a cold weather wire harness. Even on a cold day like today, that stays very flexible and pliable. Uh, next, you see the 7,000 pound drop leg jack. For those not familiar, a drop leg jack is much nicer than the traditional A-frame jack. You'd simply pull the pin out, the inner leg would drop to the ground, and then the uh, the other leg adjust via the top line jack. So you've got a lot of adjustment on these. Uh, no need to be carrying around a wood block like you would on a traditional A-frame jack. Uh, another little benefit to these would be you've got a grease dirt for serviceability. Okay, also not typically found on five wide dumps historically, is becoming a little bit more common uh, as of 2018 would be these 110 volt chargers. Uh, what's not uh, overly common, however, would be an eight amp charger. This is more of a high capacity charger. Uh, the ones I've seen historically in the industry generally are gonna be a two amp hour charger. KTI uh, pump, notice the two solenoids. That means this is a power up, power down. Again, industry on uh, five wide, still seeing a lot of power up gravity downs. This unit's power both ways. Uh, this particular unit has an interstate deep cycle marine battery. It's a group 24. Notice there it's uh, circuit breaker protected. Uh, one of the things that you don't often see would be it in a separate poly box. Uh, that's something that we ask them to do on all of ours. Very nice setup. Uh, toolbox on this is also a little heavier gauge. It's one thing I always took notice to. Uh, most toolbox in the industry you're going to find are about a 14 gauge. This one here is more of a about a 12 gauge, about two gauges thicker than most. Okay, uh, optional would be the tarp kit as shown here. Lamar's very reasonable in this option, so we go ahead and put it on most all of our dumps. Uh, they've added a few things to this more recently. It used to be a uh, steel bar, now it's an aluminum. And now it comes standard with a also aluminum sail bar. Kind of nice part is that guy just glides down the side, keeps your tarp nice and straight. It's got a set of C-clamps back at the back corner that your tarp would clamp into. Uh, very little need for strapping down. You would of course want to have a couple bungees uh, that you could tie down in the grommets. Just go from the grommets down to the hooks on the side of the trailer. Again, a nice tarp kit. Not only has it uh, got the sail bar, it's also got a spring-loaded handle. It's got corrosion-resistant uh, hardware. Latch would just extend out whenever you need to use it. So again, the charcoal powder coat is an option. Uh, it's currently a no-cost option. Uh, something that we do in a lot of our trailers makes them stand out certainly looks a lot nicer in our opinion than the uh, black that you would typically see we also do a lot of the black wheels with the charcoal just uh, goes well okay shown here would be an optional spare tire mount we do this in the majority of our trailers 
Uh, nothing worse than a customer coming in wanting to buy a spare tire and not having a good place to mount it. There's not many good uh, aftermarket options to mount uh, on a trailer like this. We go ahead and make that uh, our standard feature here. Okay, uh, also would be the LED bullet lights. They give uh, a lot of output for a single diode, uh, give it a sharp look and appearance. Of course, you see some gusseting there where the tongue comes back in the frame. Uh, Lamar does a rigid rail standard. This is a very nice design. So a lot of a lot of dumps will come up, come over, and come back down about half an inch. The more bends you've got in metal, the stronger they're going to be. Lamar took it to the next level. Uh, my understanding is they designed this for a, a big rental company that was buying these. They actually bring it up, over, down, and return it all the way back to the side. There is virtually no deflection in the top rail. Again, they did this for rental companies, guys that had uh, bobcat buckets and different things that were uh, beaten on the top rail and just make it unsightly. Just makes it a lot stronger. Still have the benefit of the stake pockets with this system. And again, if you do do a side extension, of course, that rigid rail is going to help protect that sidewall. Okay, so something I'll show you on the trailer next to this one. This is a traditional dump in that it's got a channel tongue, a channel mainframe, and it's actually a double channel. It's a very heavy-duty mainframe. Again, we'll show you on the next trailer over. And then this one's also got a separate bed frame. This is something you don't hardly ever see on a five wide dump. So you got three frames stacked on top of each other. What a lot of manufacturers in the industry are gonna do is take this sidewall down past the cross member, uh, the floor cross member and fab it in at the bottom. So your sides are essentially holding together your floor cross members. It works and uh, it works fairly well that way, but it's certainly not near as strong is what having a separate bed frame would be. Let me show you what that's gonna look like. So here's your separate channel bed frame. All your structural channel cross members have a frame that they're gonna run into. Just makes that a lot stronger. You also notice that Lamar's using a structural channel subfloor cross member. Industry standard in recent years has been to, uh, to go with a fab steel cross member. Structural channel you're gonna find is gonna be a little bit heavier in weight, uh, a little bit more old school. Also notice uh, ramps you wouldn't generally find on a five wide. Not only does this have ramps, but they're also gonna be under mount. The ones in the industry we generally see that do ramps uh, generally are gonna be a side mount ramp. Uh, the under mount ramp's just a nice touch. They tuck away, pull out right where you need them. So again, Lamar also does a little bit of an oversized hoist. Industry standard on a five wide would generally be a three inch. Here they're putting on a three and a half inch hoist give you a little bit of view of the underside of the trailer. We're gonna come back to this charcoal gray one. Another uh, feature that you would see, this is all one piece on the floor. There's no seams. It is a 10 gauge floor as well. 10 gauge, for those not familiar with gauges, the lower the number, the, the thicker the steel. Uh, a five wide industry generally is gonna be anywhere from a 10 to a 14. You're gonna see a lot more in the 12, uh, 12 gauge range a lot of times than you will in a 10. 10 is pretty rare, especially with the one piece floor. So they're a little bit heavier duty in this area. Uh, 18 inch sidewall, pretty standard. That's what we see the majority of these uh, come in as. Uh, something again, you don't often see is the heavy duty tread plate fenders, but then you've also got the gussets going back to the frame. Very sturdy design. Notice it's also a double broke fender, not just a Jeep style. More bends again in steel, stronger it's gonna be. Dexter brand axle. It's got the uh, newer style, never adjust brakes. Also has the easy lube hubs. For those not familiar, uh, very simple to service. Pull the black cap off, there's a grease dirt. Uh, we can instruct you uh, more fully on that with the purchase. Uh, wheels get a 100 foot pound of torque. Coming back to the back, couple things they do. Some people uh, uh, use these D-rings for tying down. Really main reasons for uh, the powder coating, powder coating process, they put those on there, but again, uh, would be ideal if you need to strap a uh, brush or debris, you can go caddy corner or uh, with the outside rings. And then they do do the inside rings, the thought process behind the rings. The back ones are up out of the way on the bottom of the sidewall. Notice they are a four inch ring, not an industry standard three inch ring. A little heavier duty. In the front, they're going to put them at the uh, floor corners. Thought process there, you're not going to have a whole lot of material and debris trying to slide over them they're in a little bit better placement for, uh, for tying down your, your equipment, your light equipment. So at the back of the trailer, you're gonna see a barn door. Uh, again, not something you'd typically see in a five wide dump. We see a lot of single piece gates that come across and they don't hinge. You have to pull the pins and take them off. 
This one here is going to hinge at the side. Notice it's got the grease zerts, dual hinge. This guy here I'll show you in a second, but that's what's going to hold your door back. It does have the blocks uh, tube corners that you can do side extensions on these if you so choose. Again, you've got the uh, tarp retainer back at the back. Grease zerts on the hinges. Folks, we ordered these with undermount ramps just because this is a little bit more of a deluxe trailer. Um, very reasonable option. We like the way we do it. So you're going to find, even though this is an option on Lamar, uh, we do it on nearly every one of our Lamar dumps. Again, you see the sealed beam LED lights coming back to the side. Holding the gate, it's that simple. I've seen different manufacturers with some kind of crazy designs. It's a heavy duty, fairly simplistic design. Give you an idea, a trailer like this is going to weigh about 2150 empty with a 7,000 GVW. It's going to give you a rate in the neighborhood of 5,000 pounds of payload. Now, that's not going to count your tongue weight. Generally, tongue weight's going to come in about 15%, give or take. You're going to get uh, with tongue weight, depending on how your load's loaded, probably just under 6,000 pounds of legal payload. It's coming back to the tandem axle again. The empty weights are, are virtually identical. You're going to get about the same payload either way. Again, with most manufacturers in the industry, you're going to have a 5,000 pound single and a seven tandem, but this one, it's going to be the, uh, going to be about the same. Notice on the tandem axle, of course, you got the six foot fender, still a tread plate fender with the same gusseted returns. Again, all, all the features are the same. This unit here is what we would refer to as our new standard model. So this one we got at a little bit cheaper price point. We take one or two of the goodies off. Uh, no tarp kit on this one. So this is the tandem axle. Folks, there is no difference other than the running gear between the single and the tandem axle. Same hoist, same frame, same bed. So they offer this in a five by eight single, five by 10 single, five by 10 tandem. If you want to go larger in this, uh, we got a few different manufacturers. Uh, some do a six. Lamar chooses to go to a 77, which is a very nice size. Also, standard features would be a radial tire. Here they've got the provider radial. Uh, this would be a load range C. And here's what I was referring to earlier. So most in the industry are going to use uh, generally a four or five inch uh, channel tongue or tube tongue and mainframe. Folks, this here is a four inch double channel frame. So to give you an idea, the heaviest most would use a five inch channel, which is about a, I believe a 6.1 foot pound. This four inch channel, you've got about a nine foot pound frame here. It's very stout for this size trailer. Again, hoist a little bit heavier. And then it's got the bed frame and the heavier uh, cross members. That's why we consider this to be a pretty heavyweight dump. Certainly uh, something a homeowner could use, but very much uh, commercial, uh, able to be used for commercial uses. Do you have any questions on this or any of our other dumps? Give us a ring, 717-220-4220. You can always visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.